Give me that thing. Oh, this is Reba. Oh, give me that thing. She's our newest member of uh, the Avalanche Rescue Dog Program. Jeff Thompson here, Idaho Panhandle Avalanche Center. I'm Avalanche Forecaster, but also work on Schweitzer Ski Patrol and work with Avalanche Rescue Dogs. Reba is almost nine weeks old. And I've worked with lots and lots of avalanche dogs and um, my other dog, Annie, is, uh, she's up on the mountain today, but she's retired, recently retired. Reba is, is now kind of going to follow in her footsteps. Reba! It's pretty awesome that even this day and age, and you know, with all the technology and phones and everything that we, we have going on, that really these little noses are the, the best tool we have sometimes to find people buried in the snow. They are in training from the moment we get them, and that's why we, we typically like to get dogs that were born in, in early winter, in January, February, so that we can have a couple months at the end of the season to do all this sort of stuff, sights and sounds and smells and get used to snowmobiles and ski lifts. And then she's gonna have all summer to, to grow up and hopefully next season she'll hit the ground running. I got involved when I was a young ski patroller and I saw a need at the ski area that I worked at. We didn't have dogs at the time. And so I, I ended up getting a Labrador and we ended up starting an organization called Colorado Rapid Avalanche Dogs. And, you know, I've been on so many um, rescues and incidents with the dogs and worked them that you just realize how important these resources are. I mean, if somebody's buried in the snow without, you know, an avalanche beacon, it's really the best way to find them. We didn't really have dogs here 10 years ago in, in the Panhandle. So to be able to say we have, I think, six or seven certified avalanche dogs that are available to go, you know, help with people that get caught in avalanches is, is pretty awesome. Right, kid? <laughs>